I was away for six days and I left my Con Imbrosio some Besinos, my Mopani worms, uh, in the aerarium with some branches of oak and now they are really dried out and I hope that uh, they didn't die here because it was really dry and also outside uh, the leaves get uh, more and more yellow and we have to see what happens to our caterpillars here but I see them uh, they look alive and well so let's have a, a look what they are actually doing here so this one is holding itself to the branch but of course they need urgently they need new food here because uh, this this branch is they are really dry now look here they are like this so they have a length of an hour around five centimeters I think they haven't grown a lot since the last time so I will have to present them some really nice food now from really fresh food now that so that they can uh, eat and get bigger and 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 bigger so that's one of this this is difficult to take them away here though. voila so this is a very nice caterpillar isn't it con imbrosio zombesino i have to count them and as soon as I've, I've, I've counted all of them I come back and you will see what the result is. Yes, so look how nice they are. We are complete. We have all 11 uh, that were here six days ago, but one of them is really uh, small and another one is really big. So let's see this one here. This is interesting because it seems to have a, a little different color because it has some reddish points around these uh, spikes here. It's a really big one, not this one. I think this is an L5 already here from the size of the head capsule. And also look at this nice, the feet with this small, with this white hair. A very nice view of Conimbrosio Sombesino, one of the Saturnid beetles of uh, South uh, East Africa, one of these famous edible uh, caterpillars from Africa. Of course, I don't eat this. I want to see that they can pupate, and this is a pretty hard task because this is a saltonate beetle that doesn't make any silk cocoons, it pupates in the soil, so I have to prepare some kind of a, of a soil mixture between uh, peat and uh, sand, but of course a lot more peat than sand, and then they go down the shrub into this uh, um, soil material and there they pupate there in the soil and they stay there during the hot season and when it starts raining again in the rainy season then they come out uh, of the cocoon they made and the next generation then is on the way until the next um, um, dry season comes twice a year so this is a really nice view to see here let's see whether I can make some more picture a uh, little footage with the uh, macro camera so that you can see them from really close. Thanks for watching.